Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we are going to be doing a wall art. I've been seeing this a couple of times so I've been wanting to do one of my own and here I will help you on how to make one of your very own as well. So let's get started. With a little bit of white I'm going to go ahead and cover the whole sign. Here it just gives me a clear canvas to work with and know exactly what I feel like. I want to place and paint on it. Afterwards, I use this envelope to help me guide on where my center is going to be because I'm going to paint from the top to the middle. Here I have uh, tested some colors that I thought I would like and I did two examples, uh, one of the previous and this blue one and I kind of splatted a little bit of stars there and I really liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. As you can see, I'm trying to figure out how I want to mirror it uh, for it to fit on the circle. And then, yeah, like I mentioned, I add little stars. It, I used black, blue, and white. And that's going to be my basis. I really didn't like this one. It kind of came out a little bit muddy. And then the colors, as you can see, it really wasn't going with what I wanted. So, yeah, I think this one's the winner. So right here I drew a line to help me um, where I want to stop uh, with the painting. I'm going to start from the very top and with a little bit of black I am going to go in and just, you know, slowly, <laughs> I didn't notice that the camera wasn't focusing here and I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, as you can see I'm just brushing it in a little bit little by little and then I'm going to go with blue and then a white towards the end. Here you can see I went in with the blue now. Um, as you can see it's kind of transitioning from black to blue and then towards the end once again it's going to be white. Here I'm using a sponge to help me kind of give it like a misty looking and I added tape here uh, just in case you know I wanted to color the bottom portion different or I wanted to keep it the same but I went along and peeled it and that line came out so clean aside from the end but I'm really liking how this is turning out and we're gonna go ahead and do the same for the bottom here you can see um, once I'm done coloring the, with the black and the blue and the white um, I went with a different type of texture at the bottom making it look a little bit wavy um, if you feel comfortable with doing something like about this 
little bit of waves in there to give it the ocean effect. Um, aside from that, I was trying to debate if I want the Kraken to show from the bottom and coming um, pretty much breaching out, uh, kind of like attacking the boat. Um, but I wasn't too sure about it, so I think I'm going to go ahead and work on it from the top and then see if I like how it looks from the bottom. Um, but first, I'm going to be using the black to fill in the boat and see how that looks. And here, you can see the boat already painted black, and then I'm going in and lightly drawing the tentacles of the Kraken and see if I like it. And then after that, I'll go ahead and paint it black. As you can see here, I went in and finished drawing the Kraken how I wanted it to look like. And then once that's done, I went in and started painting each tentacle with a really small paintbrush just for it to give me that control that I need to not go outside the border of the white uh, line that I drew for myself. And then here I'm just explaining what I'm doing. Once I was done drawing the Kraken, the boat, and a little bit of horizon, I went in with a little bit of hat rope and glued it along the edge. And once I did, here's the final product. I am so happy how this came out. It looks amazing and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. It was a challenge to put this together, but I'm so happy. Until the next time, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you then. Bye bye